What's up, YouTube? Broken Solar Panel here, and uh, this is an update on my mini Thunderbolt Siren. 3D printed. Um, I just got the chopper and stator put together. Um, unfortunately, I, uh, for now, can't make a dual tone, but um, uh, uh, I'll get it there eventually. The reason is because I was drilling into the dual tone chopper's uh, motor hole in the center here for the axle to go into, and X is only made too big, so it just kind of plops on there and it doesn't spin at all when the motor turns on. So. So I'm, uh, I have the single tone chopper in there right now, that of which is not very well centered. So it hits the sides a little bit, and I tried solving that by simply scraping away some of the uh, walls of the inside of the stator. It worked all right, but you know it's not the best work. Collector rings are starting to fall apart, so I might get those redone eventually. Luckily, I made everything able to come apart real easily, so I can get to the collector rings. Right here is the um, uh, horn support legs. There you go, right here. And I don't have the horn printed yet. It's one of the last things they're going to print right after the blower. The original rotator design with the pulley um, was a little bit too fast. I wish I could have shown you that, but I don't have that part put together right now. Plus, one of the pulleys split in half when I put it on the motor. <clears throat> here are the uh, original rotator parts over here, and I got them reprinted with new design over here. A thinner uh, brush support and a case for the motor that winch mounts on the side now. I'll eventually have another screw to put in there. Uh, here's the old pulley. Made it spin like crazy fast. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, working up a design that's um, basically just like the original, like the real Thunderbolt Sirens rotator, where there's a motor mount on the side right here, and there's a pulley that goes to a worm gear reducer box here, and then there's a little gear that sticks up here, and then a big gear that goes around the, um, the rotating rod, the rotational rod. Except um, on the real Thunderbolt, the collector rings are in the rod somewhere, or in here somewhere, but on this Thunderbolt, they're right here. It's a lot simpler, and that's the design Federal Signals that he used. That's a lot simpler than the design they did use, which um, looks a lot more time-consuming than the uh, design I have here. Um, uh, I have some of the other uh, parts of it right here. The um, Thunderbolt uh, front has the nice Federal Signal Thunderbolt logo on it. Also have the top part, I have it labeled top right there. And it goes on top. Can't really get that on there right now because that's in the way. Um, uh, the collector rings and the brushes. The brushes are from a uh, three volts DC motor, uh, hobby motor. I just took one apart and now it works all right. So I'm going to push those back down again because they're being a pain in the a word. Um, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run this thing up for you right now. That is, unless, of course, it doesn't want to cooperate because the collector rings are wearing out. So I'm going to aim, aim this at the camera. This thing moves around a lot because they don't have the rotator. They don't have the rotator um, uh, gears in there to keep it from spinning around while it's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and spin out the chopper as if it'll work. I forgot to mention it vibrates quite a lot in the rotator. That's because I don't have the top part mounted, that of which stabilizes the, the rotational rod to keep it from vibrating. So I'm just going to have to hold it in place for now with my finger. Also, I think the gears will help with that problem. So let's go ahead and spin it up. This is the single-tone five-port chopper with no blower. And there's some crap underneath the intake, so it's not very loud at all. It's the sides when it winds down, but, you know, when I have the um, more centered chopper in there, I'm pretty sure that won't be an issue. So um, I'm going to go ahead and spin it up and then blow into the uh, intake tube, which uh, goes all the way up to the, the motor, if you can see right there. You can see the motor just barely through all those wires. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, let's get a close-up of the chopper first. It's a five-port chopper. A little mistake there with the top, but it still holds it in place all right. Um, uh, okay, let's go ahead and wind this thing up and then blow into it. That blew pretty hard into it. Yeah, it didn't really get much louder. It's mostly because I was probably having a leak there, but when I have the blower pipe in there, it'll be nice and secure and not so leaky, so therefore maybe it'll be a lot louder. So, um, uh, right here's the rotator motor. 
There's no use spinning that up right now because it does not even connect it to anything. And uh, there's the mounting bracket for the blower pipe. And that's, that's pretty much it. This is Broken Solar Panel signing off.